Hi everyone. So I know, or you know, that it's been um, a fair while since I've done a clothes haul video. And I'm sorry about that. Obviously, when it comes to the end of the month, funds become a little bit tight. And yeah, the kind of the shopping is cut back a little bit. Um, but basically, last week I was in Edinburgh for two days for work. And I do have to say that I absolutely love Edinburgh. It's such a beautiful city. Uh, all the shops especially are amazing. They're so close by as well. It's not like walking from one end of Oxford Circus to the other, which takes forever. It's like you've got Princess Street and you've got George Street and then that's it. And uh, I bought a couple of things from there. Even though I was there for work purposes, I had quite a lot of spare time. So I thought, why not go around and have a look at some places? So the first thing that I bought was, if you remember a couple of, a couple of weeks back, I bought some purple treggings from H&M and now I knew that they came in black but every shop in London, as London is always so goddamn busy, I was not able to get the black pair so I was so happy that I was able to get the black pair and here they are, they are a bit creased up because I have worn them, I wore them last week and I absolutely love them, they're nice and shiny which maybe some people can't get away with wearing but some of us luckily me can so I got these and I also bought this beautiful top and it's got a sequined parrot on it Can you see it clearly so it's black it's got bat wing sleeves on it like that but the sleeves don't like expose the bra you know like some clothes can do so it's a really nice top I really liked it and the thing is they had so many gorgeous things in the H&M I only went to one because I noticed later on that they had two H&Ms there I went to one I must have tried on about 15 pairs of clothes I couldn't help myself and I thought firstly my suitcase is already full how much can I realistically take back with me and I've only just been paid one day stop it Charlena stop it so another thing that I bought was this sweater that I'm wearing now so I'm just going to stand up so that you can see it it's a sweater it's quite a long sweater it's like a dress sweater and it, it kind of sits tight it's like a dress almost so here we go just the standard jeggings with a zip on the on the bottom and that was all that I bought from H&M then I went to Topshop and because the sale is on I personally I'm not a fan of sales I hate sales they're so busy and messy and people go crazy and to be honest the majority of things the reason that they're on sale is i.e. nobody will buy them or um, they've been out for way too long they've been out for months and they need to get rid of the last remaining stock so more than likely out of the two if you're getting rid of the last remaining stock I already own you and if I don't like you I don't like you so that's how it is so the one in Edinburgh was okay but I did get these shoes so they are ballet shoes in purple and a really nice purple colour and I'm not used to seeing ballet shoes which have got the point like that most of them are always round and yep I've worn these a couple of times already I really like them they're really comfortable I think they're about 24-25 pounds can't remember but this was enough to fit in my suitcase okay now another thing obviously as you guys are aware it was Halloween last week now I had bought this dress a while ago and when I, when I say a while ago I mean three four months ago and I just didn't have anywhere to wear it as yet and I thought if Halloween's coming up and I'm definitely going out for Halloween this year I could wear this for Halloween so it is a black tutu dress woohoo it's like a studded one and it's got a crisscross back on it so which is why it looks all a bit confused and it was a bit long for me at the front so I stuck some random pins at the back and it is a pretty dress it's about knee, knee high or just above the knee I absolutely love it it looked amazing and the front of it obviously you can see this is the front where you your breasts sit and there was a little space here which I thought I could be a bit creative with and put a belt down and then I went to River Island last week and I came across this
Look at the spiders on it. Aren't they amazing? I love this belt. And it's um it's elasticated. So it's a stretchy belt with just poppers on the back. So I wore that out to Halloween with a bright pink wig on and some Halloweeny tights and a little black jacket. I'll post a picture at the end just so that you can see my whole completed look because it was amazing and I did I was really happy. Um let's see, I also bought myself a a, a winter coat. Um, I thought it was about time the last coat that I had I paid £125 for it from USC and it lasted me six years so I think paying a decent amount of money for a coat which is going to be last you a good couple of years is a good investment it kept me warm I loved it I mean I still love it but it's gone a bit tatty now so I did buy this from River Island it's a duffel coat so it's big it is a bit big for me but I always buy winter coats about a size bigger because you always layer loads and loads underneath so there's no point looking like you know trying to get it the exact same size as you so I got this one it's got a hood and it's just like this so it's a nice big duffel coat I really like it I think it was about 80 pounds and I'm hoping that it will last me a good couple of years I wore it to Edinburgh with me last week assuming like an idiot that Edinburgh would be freezing cold at the end of October now I went there last September for the same uh, work reason and it was freezing and I was so hot this time it was absolutely baking and um, yeah so I felt like a right idiot anyway I did go to again Topshop Oxford Circus on Monday and there was this dress that I'd seen on their website which I was looking out for so I searched and I searched and I searched I tried it on in one size a little bit too tight went to the information desk they did not have it went back to the area it was hung in but I don't know what reason maybe the dress was calling me because it knew how badly I wanted it and they had it in my size and I bought it now it is a stunning dress I love it a white lace dress it is very vintagey it is white but maybe mm, not off-white it might look a little bit off-white but it's got a little slip underneath to obviously stop it becoming see-through and it comes and it sits just around here and I love this dress I think it is so classic it is simple elegant you can dress it up you can dress it down I mean I was thinking that I might wear some biker boots with it and you know that belt that I bought a couple of weeks ago from H&M with all the belts and buckles around the waist I wear that with this so that it can be a very classic dress but with like a rock edge to it wear bright red lips plain face and pearl earrings and maybe delicately delicately waved hair so I'd be kind of the right side of Victorian punk rocker tell me what you think but I love this dress and I really can't wait to wear it I might wear it on Christmas Day and then I bought one more thing recently again it was something that I had my eye on for a couple of weeks because I'd seen it on their website so it was another pair of shoes and here they are so they are gunmetal colour they're almost like bonded shoes the heel is decent size heel as it's quite thick up the top it's not too hard to walk in not that I've actually worn it outside yet it's been raining past two days I thought I'd give it a wait um, but yes I love these they're wicked look at them all and they look lovely so I can't wait to wear these I wish I'd bought them in time for Halloween because it would have gone wicked with my outfit but never mind anyway I hope that you enjoyed my clothes shoes haul I think that's all I've bought recently in terms of clothes mm, yeah um, I'm going to do an updated makeup haul because I have bought some MAC makeup recently and I'm going to also do my October favourites because obviously as I said I was in Edinburgh I'm a little bit behind so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed my clothes and it encourages you all to go out and have a little peek 
because all of them are highly recommended, especially the belt and the white dress, which are my favourites. So thanks again now. Take care. Bye.